What's going on guys, Tiger here, and I have a video that I've been meaning to make since this, the news broke out, and uh, practically if you're an NFL fan, you know about this, if you're an Eagles fan, you especially know about this, but last week in the Eagles game against the, um, against the Washington Redskins, Nick Foles broke his hand and that was a big reason why in my opinion we lost that game because he did utter throw Jeremy Macklin a touchdown pass that normally I think he would have made if his hand wasn't broken but he was playing with a broken hand I believe it's his throwing hand as well so he broke his hand he's out he's on injury reserve and Michael Vick will be starting our season finale game against the New York Giants this Sunday in the Meadowlands, and last time Michael Vick played in the Meadowlands, I believe, he um, had one of the greatest comebacks in NFL and Eagles history, at least. But, yeah, guys, my opinion on this is I'm actually happy that Michael Vick is starting this because I want to see Michael Vick have this redemption game. I want to him to silence his critics because I am a Michael Vick fan. Sometimes I might say some bad things about the guy, but honestly, I do think he's one of the most elite quarterbacks in the NFL, if he has someone to block for him, because if you put Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees behind the Eagles offensive line, they wouldn't be able to do anything. That's the way I see it. Like They honestly wouldn't be able to do anything, and that's what Michael Vick has to go through all the time, so he has the worst offensive line in the NFL if maybe the Cardinals is worse but yeah he was getting beat up and if you look at the stats Nick Foles wasn't doing much better than Michael Vick like Michael Vick won more games I believe like Nick Foles only had one win against that Tampa Bay Buccaneers game which was a very good game good win too but yeah this season 4-11 and right now I was expecting some big things from my Eagles, and this season has been a really a disappoint, uh, disappointing, but I want to see us end on a high note, and I don't know, and I want to make a video uh, later on after a season explaining, like, what I, what I want the Eagles to make, do during this offseason, like, offseason moves I want the Eagles to make, like, coaching change. Who should we resign? Who should we let go? Who should be cut? Things like that. Like I want to make a video on that in the, in the next few weeks. So look out for that. But in my opinion, I think next year our starting quarterback should be Michael Vick. And the only reason why I'm saying Michael Vick should be our starting quarterback is because Nick Foles is way too raw. He's way too young. He he shouldn't be just thrown into the wolves like he was this season. He was just thrown in, like. When we drafted him, he we drafted him in the third round like a developmental guy, a guy that will sit for three, four years and be our quarterback of the future. And this year, I I knew he was going to play at least one game because Michael Vick cannot stay, not hurt. But, yeah, yeah Nick Foles was just thrown into the Wolves, and he, he needs to sit back and learn the playbook like take the reps and practice and not have to worry about like he's all this like I don't, I don't know how I'm trying to word this but you pretty much know what I mean and he's he was just thrown in and thrown in by Andy Reid once Vic got her and he's just been starting all these games and this is not good for his development I believe like it's good for him to get all this playing time but yeah all I'm saying is next season Michael Vick should be our starting quarterback because I, I honestly don't know how, like, I honestly do think he is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL if we have an offensive line protecting him. And the only way I see Michael Vick staying the starting quarterback is if Andy Reid goes, and that's one thing I want to happen. I want Andy Reid to be fired. He does not deserve his job. First and eight and eight season, now four and 11. This is... The, Jeffrey, if Andy Reid does not get fired, then I'm going to, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, like, freaking go ballistic. He should be fired ASAP, like, at, after a regular season game. Right after that, they should hand him his pink slip right there and then. 
let him go to San Diego, let him go to the Chargers, let him go wherever. I just don't want him in Philadelphia anymore. But one guy I do want to be our next head coach, Chip Kelly. If you guys don't know who Chip Kelly is, he is a head coach at Oregon. And look at Oregon's offense. Imagine Oregon's offense translate to NFL with Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Mackley, Riley Cooper, um, Bryce Brown, LaShawn McCorn, Michael Vick, all those players. Like, imagine that. Imagine that Eagles offense. Like, I just want an offensive-minded coach that can help us out. And in offseason, I don't care how much money we need to spend. Get the best offensive lineman we can get. Like, grab anyone, honestly, because King Dunlap, King Dunlap must be the worst player I've ever seen in NFL history. Like, I hate that guy with a strong, strong passion. But, yeah, this video was basically just talking about Nick Foles' broken hand. It was good for him to get some playing time, but Michael Vick is our starting quarterback. He is the leader of the team. And... Yeah, I, I didn't really like Andy Reid's decision even when Michael Vick was, was clear to play to continue to start Nick Foles because Michael Vick is our starting quarterback, that plain and simple. Like, we shouldn't just, just because um we the season's lost, like, Nick Foles getting thrown into the Wolves like that, that's, in my opinion, not good for the guy's development. It was good to see him play. And NFL games, but I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys feel about this. This video is kind of all over the place, but I just need to get my feelings out about this whole situation and about the Eagles because I haven't made an Eagles video like this in quite some time now. So yeah, let me get, let me know what you guys feel about this video, and if you guys want to see more of these video, like I was planning on making an off season, like what I want the Eagles to do during off season. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But yeah. This is Tiger here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, the video that you're watching in the background is just some old Eagles connected careers. I just need something to talk over. But yeah, guys, Tiger here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.